Picture yourself in the warm embrace of nostalgia, where the sepia-toned corridors of your memory house an iconic television series that made you laugh, cry, and perhaps even hum a catchy tune. It was 1969, and the world was introduced to the Brady Bunch. Do you remember that very first encounter with this delightful family? The wholesome charm of the Bradys, their suburban adventures, and the catchy refrain of Here's the Story of a Lovely Lady. Echoing through your living room, a cultural time capsule that undoubtedly left an indelible mark on your heart. From the moment the credits rolled, and that unmistakable tic-tac-toe grid introduced the blended Brady family, you were hooked. The antics of Greg, Marsha, Peter, Jan, Bobby, and Cindy were as familiar to you as the faces of your own siblings. The shaggy orange carpet, the iconic staircase, and Alice, the ever-reliable housekeeper, became fixtures in your living room, offering you a window into a world where problems were solved in under 30 minutes, and lessons were learned with a wholesome moral. But let's delve deeper, shall we? Beyond the catchy jingles and pastel wardrobes, there's a treasure trove of fascinating tidbits about this beloved show that you might not know. Join me as we journey back to those simpler times and discover the random facts that made the Brady Bunch the cultural touchstone it remains today. So, gather round the tube and let's start this Brady Bunch adventure. The Brady Bunch, the iconic 1969 TV series, had its share of interesting behind-the-scenes stories. One notable aspect was its major sponsors during the early episodes. Cheerios Cereal and Maddle Toys were among the brands that supported the show. These sponsors advertised their products during commercial breaks, helping to fund the series. Another intriguing fact about the Brady Bunch is that it received an abundance of viewer fan mail, including letters from children who asked if they could come live with the Bradys because their own families were troubled or imperfect. In response, Sherwood Schwartz, the show's creator, reminded these young fans that it was just a television show and advised them to make the most of their own home situations. It highlights the impact the show had on its viewers and their perception of the Brady family as an idealized version of family life. In the casting of child actors and actresses for the show, Sherwood Schwartz had an interesting technique. He would place a bunch of toys on his desk during auditions and observe if the child paid attention to him or was distracted by the toys. If the child focused on the conversation rather than the toys, Schwartz considered them suitable for the series. This method helped select child actors with the required concentration for television work. The Brady Bunch remains a beloved and influential series in television history, known for its portrayal of a blended family and its enduring popularity. Whether it's the sponsors, the fan mail, or the unique casting technique, the show left a lasting mark on both its viewers and the industry. In 1969, The Brady Bunch was a beloved TV series that captivated audiences with its wholesome family dynamics. While there is limited information available regarding Maureen McCormick's nose injury and its connection to an episode, a noteworthy incident involving Barry Williams sheds light on the show's production challenges. Barry Williams, who portrayed Greg Brady, performed his own surfing stunts in the season four's three-part opening episode set in Hawaii. During one scene, he suffered a real-life wipeout near exposed rocks, sustaining an injury that forced a delay in filming. The shocking moment was preserved for the episode, despite its intensity. ABC, concerned about its violence, approached show creator Sherwood Schwartz. Although Schwartz agreed to retain the scene, the originally planned cliffhanger showing Williams' wipeout was altered. The episode now ended with Mike Brady pulling Greg out of the water, leaving the audience to wonder about his fate. Sherwood Schwartz, the show's creator, emphasized that many storylines in the Brady Bunch were inspired by real events involving the cast. The character traits of the kids were shaped by their real-life counterparts. For example, the conflicts between Jan and Marsha paralleled disputes between Eve Plum and Maureen McCormick off-screen. Similarly, Barry Williams' character's love for music reflected his own passion in real life. While the Brady Bunch entertained viewers with its wholesome family stories, it also occasionally incorporated elements of reality into its fictional world, making it an enduring classic of American television. 
Robert Reed's reluctance in The Brady Bunch in the iconic 1969 TV series The Brady Bunch, Robert Reed, who played the role of Mike Brady, was far from thrilled with his part. Reed's initial gripe stemmed from the fact that he was promised a serious, boundary-pushing exploration of modern family life by the show's creator, Sherwood Schwartz. However, what he got was a family sitcom, and this didn't sit well with him. As the series progressed, Reed's dissatisfaction with the role grew. He even contemplated leaving the show after the fifth season. Sherwood Schwartz, in turn, pondered the possibility of recasting Mike Brady, or even killing off the character if the show got renewed for a sixth season. However, Reed chose to stick around out of loyalty to the rest of the cast, especially the kids. Reed's reservations about the Brady Bunch didn't hinder the show's immense popularity, but they serve as a reminder that even in a beloved TV series, not everyone is content with their role. In 1969, a TV series called The Brady Bunch made its debut. This show featured a blended family, bringing together a widow and a widower along with their respective children. At that time, other series like Family Affair and The Doris Day Show also depicted widowed parents raising kids. Some critics felt The Brady Bunch took this theme to an extreme. One interesting fact about the show's production is the sliding glass door in the Brady house. Surprisingly, it never had actual glass in it. This was done to prevent glares from lighting during filming, so the door was left without glass. In the episode titled Do Re Mai, the show capitalized on Christopher Knight's inability to sing. He was tone deaf and couldn't even sing badly correctly. As a result, his singing in the time to change number was dubbed by producer Howard Leeds. So, the Brady Bunch not only brought a unique family structure to the screen, but also had some interesting behind-the-scenes quirks. In 1969, the Brady Bunch hit the small screen, and while the show itself gained immense popularity, there were some lesser-known facts behind the scenes. One of these facts involves Maureen McCormick and Christopher Knight, who played Marsha and Peter Brady. In addition to the albums recorded by the Brady Kids, there was an album featuring only Maureen McCormick and Christopher Knight. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a commercial failure, despite the show's success. Another intriguing anecdote involves Florence Henderson, who portrayed Carol Brady. When she arrived for her screen test, there was no one available for her makeup. She ended up in the makeup chair next to William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy from Star Trek who were being prepared for their roles. To her surprise, both actors completely ignored her during the process. As for an interesting and somewhat controversial fact, in one episode titled The Brady Bunch, where there's smoke, there's a scene where Tommy reassures Greg, played by Barry Williams, when Greg finds an open cigarette carton and hands it to Tommy. Tommy says, hey, they are just regular cigarettes, man. The implication here is that they are not marijuana cigarettes. Ironically, Barry Williams admitted in his autobiography Growing Up Brady that he was, in fact, stoned from marijuana while filming that very scene. These behind-the-scenes tidbits shed light on the more obscure aspects of The Brady Bunch, a show that has left an indelible mark on television history. As we bid adieu to this journey through the groovy world of the Brady Bunch, let's take a moment to reflect on the memories it has etched into the annals of our hearts. This iconic series, first aired in 1969, has been a timeless backdrop to many of our lives. Perhaps you've watched it as a child, finding solace in the Brady family's adventures, or maybe it's been a source of nostalgia as you revisited it as an adult. The Brady Bunch was more than just a show, it was a glimpse into a bygone era, an emblem of the cultural zeitgeist, and a testament to the enduring charm of blended families. From the catchy opening theme song to the quirks of each character, it left an indelible mark on television history. Now, we invite you to share your treasured memories and thoughts about the Brady Bunch. What were your favorite episodes, characters, or life lessons you took away from this series? How did it influence your own family dynamics or inspire you in any way? We'd love to hear your unique perspective and the stories that make this show a part of your personal narrative. Thank you for joining us in this nostalgic journey down memory lane. Your time and interest in reminiscing about the Brady Bunch mean the world to us. Together, we celebrate the enduring charm of this beloved series that has brought joy and warmth to so many hearts. Stay tuned for more exciting discussions and walk down memory lane with us. Until then, keep those Brady Bunch memories close to your heart and let them remind you of the beauty of family, love, and laughter.